fair bit because of uh, our illustrious president, mm -hmm. Peter Saltry, who's um, been there now for 215 years, I think. So. <laughs> and obviously we don't have to go back to, I think it was when 2008, when um, it might have been a day when Williamstown and uh, the Bulldogs actually had a, a day for dogs on the ground. and. Um, our president was a little bit upset that they might have left some calling cards on purpose for the Port Melbourne Football Club, so there is a little bit of rivalry there, but I get caught up in the moment, there's no doubt about that, and certainly, well, as I said, I get reminded about it a fair bit, and um, it's always about, I think, the two teams on the day that can certainly play somewhere near their best, and it just so happens to be us and uh, Williamstown, but look, I guess it's the Carlton-Collingwood situation, or Hawthorne and Essendon, but Certainly a lot of things have changed since that rivalry was established and it's actually going to be the modern day Warriors that will be going at it on Sunday. That's you, Peter. Oh, it's great to see Jerry Callahan and ex-players, champions of um, the Williamstown Football Club, uh, you know, come to support us and always have since I've been at the club the last two years. So whether it's a big game or, a, or sort of any type of game that, um, you know, most of the time you see those guys around. So they've really got a passion for the club and, and that and that sort of rivalry and the uh, probably respect, I think, uh, for Port Melbourne uh, does you know, come from those guys. You hear them talking about it, but again, Trevor Monty, the, uh, the president, uh, I, think the, I think the president's probably had the most rivalry, rivalry between uh, anyone, but uh, from my point of view, just growing up as a kid and, and, um, and watching uh, probably Port back in the 70s, we were just the club and remember listening to uh, Don Hyde and, and those guys commentating on Channel 10, or Channel O back then, I think, and uh, and everything was about Port Melbourne back in those days. So, and I was a Coburg man back then, and, and just uh, I actually learned to probably hate Port from those very days. But certainly, uh, there's a lot of respect.